तो सेकेंडरी मैसेजर्स दीज आर द मोलिक्यूल्स और दीज आर द रिले सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम द सेल सर्फेस रिसेप्टर टू द टारगेट मोलिक्यूल इन साइड द सेल राइट दे एक्ट एज इंटरमीडियरीज दैट इज टेकिंग ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द लिगेंड कैरी फॉरवर्डिंग एंड देन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग इट टू द फाइनल रिस्पॉन्स सिक्वेंसेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी ए एम पी सी जी एम पी आई पी थ्री कैल्शियम टू प्लस ट्राइसाइल ग्लिस्ट्रॉल राइट सी दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दिस इज रिलेटेड टू वॉट वी हेव जस्ट अंडरस्टूड गिव इट ट्राई टू दिस क्वेश्चन एवरी वन लेट सी इन एक्टिव पी के ए इज अ टेट्रामर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू रेगुलेटरी एंड टू ऑफ दी कैटोलिटिक सब यूनिट सेकेंड ऑप्शन ईच आर सब यूनिट binds the active site in the catalytic and inhibits the activity of the catalytic subunit then each r has two distinctive camp binding sites fourth binding of the camp to the r subunit causes a conformational change in binding site other than the catalytic site causing strengthening of binding of c subunit activate uh, activating its kinase activity fourth is the correct answer those of you who are marking the option number 2 as the correct answer why read the question carefully option number 4 binding of camp to r subunit cause a conformational change does there occur like uh, uh, causes a conformational change resulting in binding to the site other than the catalytic site causing strengthening of the binding to the c sub unit does there occur or is there a strengthening of binding of r and c after c a m p binds to it yes you need to find out the incorrect option not the correct one you had to find out the incorrect option those of you are marking the answer is option number 2 only two of you got the answer correct ayush and bharti yes others where is your mind not reading the question properly is there any increase in the strength of binding of the r and the c subunits after we have the camp binding to it yes gulshan kanika akansha anjali and das and sonam also is there a strengthening increase uh, increase in the strength we have just discussed it gets dissociated we have just discussed this right there is dissociation of the r and the c after the binding then why are you not reading the question carefully fourth is the correct answer for this because you had to find out the incorrect option i hope it's clear right Okay, give it a try to this question as well. Let's see how many of you can solve this question. Yes, it gets detached, right? That means you didn't read the question properly. Give it a try to this now quickly. yes bharti i i said that bharti and ayush got the answer correct i'm sorry if you got offended but i told you that you got the answer correct you and ayush both of you got the answer correct
done everyone in states about the new nuclear receptor super family is not true first option the receptor are always cytosol where they remain associated with the heat shock proteins and have variable ligand binding domains second the receptor have characteristic repeats of the c4 zinc uh, zinc finger motifs then the receptors are either homodimeric or heterodimeric and in the absence their hormone uh, in the absence their hormone ligand the heterodimeric receptor represses the transcription when bound to their response element and last the receptor have a unique n terminal region of variable length and may contain a nuclear localization signal between the dna and the ligand binding domains so a first is the correct answer for this particular question very good how can we get the answer for this very easy way first option is absolute in nature like it's telling about a very very or it's giving a very absolute information to us right so that's why it is incorrect a is the wrong answer and all the other statements are correct right i hope all these things are clear next we have the information related to the ip3 dac pathway look into the ip3 dac pathway now talking about this pathway this is again very important very easy also you just have to remember all the major pointers ip3 dac pathway in one of the papers in the previous year there was a question asked for the full form of ip3 and majority of the students got it wrong because they always keep on learning that ip3 ip3 something they do not concentrate upon the minor details so make sure that you are working on the minor details as well ip3 stands for inositol 145 triphosphate okay now what happens you have the gpcr protein same working in as in when the ligand binds you have the g protein getting activated g protein with the alpha subunit getting activated with the help of guanine exchange factor gef now what happens this activated g protein the alpha subunit will be interacting with plc beta what is plc see over here i have written down all the things for you plc stands for phosphatidyl inositol diphosphate right so it get it interacts with the same which helps in breaking down of i pip2 see plc beta catalyzes the reaction where pip2 will be breaking down into or it gets dissociated into dag and ip3 dag is diacyl glycerol ip3 is your inositol 145 triphosphate now ip3 gets detached from your plasma membrane it reaches to your smooth endoplasmic reticulum opens up or helps in opening of your calcium 2 plus ion channels calcium 2 plus concentration increases in the cytosolic area calcium binds to calmodulin calmodulin will be reaching to your uh, calcium reaches to your plasma membrane with the help of calmodulin where it will be activating your pkc that is protein kinase c which will be going to the nucleus reaching the nucleus and then help helping in the initiation of the response of the cell right i hope it's clear very very simple right this is the entire pathway for the same talking about calmodulin also alongside calmodulin is what it is a calcium binding protein which is having a very very important role in number of pathways what is it all about see over here look into the structure calmodulin is what it act as a vehicle for your calcium 2 plus to be transported to the area or to the region where it can where the calcium 2 plus is required so kel modulin on each kel modulin 4 ca2 plus can bind to as and when there occurs binding of the ca2 plus it there occurs a conformational change and then it will be transported to wherever it is required to whichever location it is required right in the recent year also there was a question asked related to the calcium kel modulin complex so remember all the pointers right 